Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we are just going to take this simple strategy. Uh, for me, I think it's a relatively uh, simple strategy. We are going to take this strategy. Basically, what the person is uh, waiting for is after a bearish candle, then there should be three bullish uh, candles. Then they buy. Uh, I think they call it uh, three white soldiers or three crows whatever strategy uh, that people use out there but somebody mentioned this in a previous video that i did last year and they just wanted me to share with them probably how you can turn this into a forex strategy so what we're going to do is we're going to use uh of fx a dreamer uh, basically one of our uh, favorite ea builders uh, again is for free to use if you are creating robots for metatrader 4 and if you are using less than 10 blocks and then it's basically for free this is a, pre a video that a uh, robot that we built in the previous video so if you want to learn more about this uh, watch the previous uh, video so we are going to just remove everything that we have here and just start afresh but basically this should be easy to do do this should be easy to do i'm just going to give you the basics of it which is the point of this channel because there is a ton of stuff uh, that you can actually do with fx streamer i'm not in any way affiliated with them but uh, yeah i just use them because they are free and if you want uh, more features or for mt5 you can actually buy subscription it's very cheap especially if you're going to sell the robot to other friends or if the robot is going to make you tons and tons of cash then it's worth it so if you want for mt5 and all the other stuff just pay the subscription but otherwise the free subscription is still uh, usable if you know what you're doing so this strategy as i said because i just googled uh, this idea of the three white soldiers and three crows and this is what i found so yeah uh it's i doable in uh, my view so what we are going to do is uh, first of all you know what i do is we tell the robot to search that it doesn't have any prior orders that are open because i don't want my robots to place 10,000 trades on one candlestick or on one signal i don't want that i only want my robot to uh, preserve my trading capital so if it has not uh, uh, placed any trades prior then it can go ahead and search for a signal only once per bar i don't want it to continuously look at the same bar and continuously uh, generating signals of a single bar no if the signal is not there on that uh, candlestick uh, let's wait for the next candlestick so that's what i'm telling the robot to do there then we come to we don't need conditions uh um, now my muscles uh, now are just rushing to condition but now we are going to tell the robot what we want to do uh, based on uh, this so uh, the first thing for a buy if i look uh, the buy condition uh, there we need a bearish candle that is followed by three bullish candles so uh, for me we come to various signals there so we are going to first get a bearish candle and we are going to link it uh, like that then we are going to look for bulls in a row and we'll link it like that we double click uh you can decide the size uh of the candlestick the size or the minimum size for this candlestick the minimum size of the candlestick of this candlestick what you want to be the minimum size of this candlestick also you can decide what is the minimum size of this candlestick so i'm just going to use the default i'm just going to use the default here you can set the time frame of the candle i'm just going to use current because i just want the robot to work on whatever time frame that i place it on then we update then i'm going to double click and go in here and 
how many candles do you want in a row so this is where you actually decide how many candles you want in a row the bullish candles how many bullish candles do you want coming one after the other that's what we are saying and here we want three so the default is okay it's three there you can tick this this gray boxes if you want to change these things without coming back to fx streamer and here what is the minimum body size that you want these candles to be do you do you want these three candles to be bigger or do you want these three candles to be maybe smaller like that uh, i uh, i think it's up to you to decide and again you can set currency you can set a time frame you can set uh, a raw mode basically uh, you want candle size increasing or candle size decreasing so you decide maybe you want to use candle size increasing to show that after the bearish candle now with bears bulls in a row but the candlesticks are showing momentum because they are increasing in size the first one maybe was five pips the second one maybe is now seven pips but the third one maybe is now 10 pips so there's a sign of what a push to the upside from the this level so maybe uh, that's what you want uh, to add i mean play play with this then after that you come and what you place your buy block there uh, this is very simple i'm not trying to waste your time and you double click and you set your lot sizing there whatever lot size you want uh your take profit and and stop loss uh maybe we aim for a one is to two and we update then uh, we do the same again for what for the sale the sale we want a bullish candle and we double click and you you change whatever you want to change uh, candle id important just leave it at one uh, candle id one is the previously closed candle the candlestick that is still jumping up and down is called candle zero so you don't want to base your signals on a candle that is not yet closed you don't know whether that candle is going to close bearish or bullish so rather use the candlesticks that have closed so the previously closed candle the first one that is uh, before the one that is still uh, jumping up and down is called candle one so just leave it at candle one then a uh, minimum body size and if you want to change uh, these values without coming back to fx streamer you just tick these things and again you decide on time frame and after that we have bears in a row and we link it like that and we double click and uh, basically you do what you want uh, we want uh, candlesticks uh, to increase in size and time frame you decide on the time frame that you want this to happen on and then you come back here and you drag this and you say a sell now you double click and go in there and you set uh, whatever values that you want in here uh, this one I'm setting it to 1 is to uh, 3 I know this one I set it to 1 is to 2 1 is to 3 so you have basics you have basics the basics for a strategy based on a, a, a robot sorry based on this strategy by the way if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing so that you don't miss any of our future videos like the video leave your comments in the comment section below uh, if you are looking for forex courses indicators books and stuff like that uh, also see the links in the description box below as well as the broker that i use for testing these uh, robots then you might also want now we are on uh, eight blocks so we still have uh, two blocks that we can use uh, uh, before we cannot use F uh, fx streamer for free so what you might want to do is to trail stop uh, each trade so oh do we want to link it here you can actually uh, link it here as well and you double click and you're going to uh, to to trail what the stop loss 
and if here uh, you can stay you can set the uh, trailing stop is whatever you can click here and it will show you what it means uh, so some of these uh, uh, values you can actually click them to get an explanation of what you are supposed to be doing or if you are thinking the right thing so you can actually click them and they expand and you can read more about what you are supposed to do then uh, so we can set uh, our trailing stop at 40 pips uh, and we update then that will be uh, around nine blocks that will be close and maybe then we just uh, change the name of our robot a creative name what's a creative name three candles ea very creative and done then we actually download the source code and the executable file and we go and test it if it's working for us we go and we sell it to our friends and we make a lot of money or we actually use it ourselves for trading and see if we can make a lot of money you can also actually uh, add some more conditions uh, to this by coming to here maybe you want to add um what uh a MACD. maybe you want to add a MACD. so you can actually come in here what you just need is to unlink uh, maybe we can unlink somewhere here you just no more click and it will pop out like that then uh, maybe we say uh, we add just to filter our trades maybe we say um, stochastic or maybe moving average cross maybe moving average cross maybe we keep it at moving average cross so this must happen this uh, must happen but we also need a moving average cross uh, we have a, a period 5 moving average cross maybe exponential uh, using uh, 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 crossing price uh, closed price as well as the time frame you can decide whatever time frame you want the moving average to work on and crossing the five crossing maybe the eight uh, let's set it to eight and again exponential and we do it like that that will be for a buy and here no more click which deletes that link and we push it down and we just right click on this and we copy it and right click and we paste and you come here and we just link it like that we link and we double click and we actually change that so on top of these candles that we are watching we are also watching a uh, moving average cross so that we filter those uh, trades we were trying to catch the cream of the trades but in any case so this is now 10 blocks so you can actually let's say let's call it three candles two ea and done and you can download the source code and you can download the executable uh, file just like that so yeah uh, i hope you learned something in uh, this video that's how easy it is to actually turn uh, this into a forex robot you don't need to pay anybody you don't need to do any kind of coding if you want to learn any coding you can still do that if you want to pay somebody you can still do that it's your own money but i'm just showing you how you can actually do these things for yourself for free so yeah uh, guys i'll see you in the next one bye